What's going on everyone? My name is Daily Fix and we are tuning in here. We are going to play as the Mandalorian clans in the massive overall mod for Stellaris Star Wars The Fallen Republic. Uh, I've already done, I've already done the Empire and that kind of, you know, ended in disaster because the game crashed and I was an idiot and I didn't save. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually we'll get back there. So we've been thinking about how we do it. Are we going to be the good Mandalorians? Or are we going to be the bad Mandalorians? And I'm thinking the good one. I'm thinking the good one. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, um, this is this is live from Twitch. So I will interact with people in chat every now and then if they decide to type. Which is absolutely good. And... Yeah, if you'll, you'll be so kind on, on YouTube, if you could smash that like button, I would really appreciate it. But also, also, hit that link down in the description to get towards my ch Twitch channel, and perhaps we will see each other. So, the Mandalorian class are on a bound a monarchy, apparently, which is actually interesting. The effects are authoritarian. Um, monthly influence plus 0.5. And the worker pop resource output plus five percent which is actually quite nice now out of the empire this is actually it starts with lower resources so interesting to see how that will play out we are also fanatic uh, militarist and i will say mil uh, uh, materialist every now and then because i just i don't have the ability to read uh claiming influence costs negative 20 so we definitely need to be claiming stuff and the ship firing rate plus 10 percent uh the civics are the um the mandalorian codes so uh, this, this this is the way uh habitability plus 10 percent and the armor hit points plus 10 percent i really liked what they did there uh because if you're seeing like the series come on everyone has seen the series the mandalorian and and he is doing these quests to actually get enough stuff for his armor and eventually he'll do that and that is just absolutely fantastic i love that series i'm very happy to see that uh, is season 2 getting uploaded right now to Disney? Or is that going to be like thing for the for next month? If you know the answer, do let me know. Uh, also, we got the warrior culture here. Entertainer jobs will be replaced by duelist. And duelists will turn alloys into unity, uh, amenities, and naval capacity. Armor dam uh, army damage plus 20 because these guys are beasts. They are. So that means that we need to focus even more on alloys because now alloys are going to be used as well for cons for uh, entertainment. Uh, meaning that the consumer goods in general is not going to be used as much. As uh, the Mandalorian, the founding species, these are all of the traits. As you can see, they're talented, traditional, strong and uh, solitary. And a lot of positives there except the house usage. We use more housing. So, yeah, we'll just see how that goes. Um, we get a leader level cap plus one. Uh, unity from jobs plus 10%. I, I really like that. Uh, I like the unity in this, in this, uh, in this game a lot. Uh, strong army damage plus 20%. So, we already have army damage plus 20%. And we get another 20% from being strong. Also, work pop. Uh, resource output plus two and a half and i believe it's also in here so that's seven and a half additional resources from that and, and here we go solitary housing usage uh, plus 10 percent now we are a warrior clan the mandalorian clans are a collection of warrior clans united under a single leader known as the mandalore this figure acts as the living embodiment of the mandalorian culture and as a dictated uh yeah, dictated by the Raisonnaire, the six uh, actions which make a person a Mandalorian. It's so cool. Um, through not the original birthplace on their culture, Mandalore has served as their home on the Mandalorian society since the uh, since at least seven thousand. So that's that's well over nine hundred and fifty eight years. Kind of hoping the BBC that doesn't mean that it's doubling up. Who knows? Uh, but anyway, if you want to read all of that, by all means, go ahead. We'll do it. We're going to be starting already. And um, I, I like to say, let's start with a fractured uh, empire. Because 
that makes it more difficult for the empire because they will definitely get uh, some others to join or shall we start with a united empire I i'll leave this up to you as for the habitability uh, I, I, let's go with 25%. I think 100 and, and others is just way, way too much. I do not like that. Uh, so while we select this option, uh, let's take a look. So what shall we do, guys? Go with the United Empire. Because this is right after the Clone Wars, isn't it? I thought it was right after the Clone Wars. Not particularly sure on that one. Hmm... Let's take a look. Former members of the Republic dominating the galaxy power through the members and even challenging the Galactic Empire at a later date. Ooh. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if we should start United or Fractured. I quite like the idea of United. It, it definitely puts us in a position where we need allies we need strong allies we need a alliance and, and there will be lots and lots of battles mm, we're only making free influence so that's not too much playroom we we'll probably would go with the republic loyalist since he is the ai and not genesis king who's actually a beast at this empire uh, i think it will definitely be uh, difficult Yeah, this this creates a large alliance at the start of the game. It's it's green, so we'll go with that. Well, let's let's go with the um, the full created galactic empire. Let's let's skip a day, and that will bring the rest of it. Are you bloody kidding me? Let's take a look. Uh, they will break away, so no worries there. Uh, a, a, a few of them will break away. Look at all of these messages. Alliance invitations uh, and all of that stuff. Uh, it's not for us. And if they wanted to speak to us, then I'm sure the old Dominion voted to form. Okay. Interesting. Take a look here. Yeah, that is, of course, the Galactic Empire. So, where do we get started on this? Also, this is not the music that is part of the Star Wars Fallen Republic mod. Uh, I'm very, very worried <laughs> about uh, the origin of the music. And, yeah, that would be a bit of a problem if I get a lot of claims on my videos and I don't want that. Uh, so, what I do like is they start with automatic exploration. One of the best bloody features in this game is that it starts with that. Uh, we'll definitely go towards the Republic. Loyalist. Let's form some of these. What is this? Minerals from jobs. Ooh. Ooh, very nice. I like that. Let's give it another day so all of the planets get in there. Ah, uh, true. Yes. Oh, wow. I love this. I really love this. <laughs> I'm getting flagged the second. Look at that audience. That guy is definitely a speaker. Definitely a speaker. So, um, safety, security, peace and justice. Well, justice, he says. Uh, let's get you and to go. So, um, like before, we, we, we use these to build our ships and we'll look into that later. Let us get started. Uh, the, the left the lines, actually, so that's good. Um, and we should improve relations with you right away. Because I do want you in my alliance. And perhaps we can join these guys as well. So let's improve with you. Uh, we could also improve with the Empire. So that will actually postpone all of the... Uh, like, like the Empire will turn on you. So that, that's going to be something. So these guys left, so it is fine for us. In terms of research, oh man, I love that these guys look like this. But why don't these guys look like that? Is it a specialization? No. They just, they, I think they turned off their helmet at some point and they got banned. Uh, we got a manacle in here. It's not, not the best, it's not the worst either. Uh, let's recruit you. 
And we'll uh, we'll start by making another... Uh, actually, that sh should be just doable from over here. Sign ship. There we go. Mm. I love these. I love targeting, targeting computers and stuff like that. Because I, I really like the swarming mechanic on this stuff. What about you? What is your favorite uh, computer? For me, I like the carriers. Especially now, the carriers are way too strong. Um, and... We'll go for the society research. I'm kind of thinking just going for the research. And how about you? Ooh, additional minerals. 10% more minerals. And we are producing just 186. So that would be another 18 for 10%. Still, I think it would be better if we go for research. Now, this fella is going to be replaced by him. So, it's 7%. Yeah, that, that's fine. That is fine. Uh, hopefully, we'll get more. Let's see. What can we build on you? What kind of stuff do you have? So, do we have that many on there? No. Uh, what are the other options? I love these. Uh, asteroid miners and consumer alloys. Um, now, the upkeep is eight minerals and if we go to planets uh, you'll see that the upkeep is really high for what it produces uh, because i believe it is a ratio this one is two to not even one and let's take a look over here this one has a ratio one to one so i wouldn't recommend building those on star bases uh, because they cost you more than they provide you um which is sad uh, we'll click these buttons later so they will start automatically upgrading in the future. Definitely want to focus a tiny bit more on the alloy department. As for you, you got two unemployment. What kind of buildings do we want? Droids. Oh, droids take forever to build. It's one uh, one job. Uh, yeah, Wenex is always pessimistic. No, it's not always, but he, he was here with the, the original stream. And damn, that didn't turn out too well. So let's go with uh, more hyper fuel because that is actually on. Actually, no, the hyper matter is on five, so we don't need this right away. Let's focus on alloys, and let's get the droid assembly as well. We'll build the droid assembly everywhere. And as for unity, let's take a look. The minion, the Mandalores. It feels like this is very important for us. Uh, ship building cost negative five, and the um, the the building cost in general by fifteen. Nice monthly alloys increase by ten percent. Ooh, ooh yeah, I like that. Uh, the upkeep production specialist pop output, uh, trade value, and special uh, the ship architecture, ship building speed, and planetary building speed increased by fifteen percent. And we got the um, decreased cost. For the uh, destroyer size ships by 10%. Explosive weapon damage increased by 10 This is really powerful. I like that. Anything else that is having some of the Mandalorian options? Doesn't look like it. Yeah, let's go with the Mandalores first. I, I think we should go for that one. As soon as we get it. So, let's take a look at our fleet. Because, uh, the cool ships. I'm kind of hoping to see some cool, cooler ships. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that. That is just amazing. And there's varieties in here, actually. So, we got the early destroyer, which is this ship, I guess. That is absolutely gorgeous. Let me, let me turn this up full screen. Look at, look at that. Look at the planet as well. The planet looks absolutely amazing. What the fuck is that? Another planet. And I think these are real cool... Vets. Mm, there are some others over here. Let's take a look. So we got the early frigates and we got the corvettes. That is really cool. I like that. Yeah, man. The ship models are awesome. I'm still hoping they will add just a bit more. Because that is so cool. That is so cool. When I was playing as the Emperor, I saw a lot of these ships that also are used in your series, Genesis. And I was a it's sad, uh, to be honest. Um, so I'm hoping they will add a lot more. And I've seen with the update to 0 0.92, uh, 9.1 actually, this is the, the update uh, 
they did add a bunch of stuff that is so cool let's go to ship designer and let's take a look because oh my wow we, we can actually build all of these already that's uh interesting so let's take a look oh wow <laughs> oh this is gorgeous oh this is gorgeous turbo lasers oh, i kind of yeah the, the the missiles hmm hmm do we want these missiles or do we want to go for this one? So right now we got a armor penetration. Shield damage is a bit low though. Uh, it looks like these iron cannons, they are very useful. So these ships are going to be quite nice. Yeah, we still with a lot of tech. That's going to be a lot of building on the ships. I didn't believe it would be like that though. Uh, maybe we'll not change anything. Armor penetration is quite nice. The early frigate. Oh, look at that icon. And a lot of hull and armor damage. What I like about this is that you are forced to use several ship designs. Oh, wow. This looks so nice. It really looks nice, guys. And a more iron cannon. So definitely we want to make sure that we get some stuff against shields. Uh, but looks of it, definitely the Oculus Seal shields. And we also have the Assault Fighter Squadron. Oh man, that is so cool. That is so cool. These are all still the other best. Let's, uh, shall we auto upgrade them? Uh, or shall we just remember? The oh, well, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Me remembering those things. A lot of these weapons. More armor penetration... That is so cool. I don't like these, actually. Armor hit points is quite nice. Uh, but you can also change them to more weapon damage. Uh, we'll do that. Uh, these will not change. Let's save these. We'll probably have to do the same uh, options as well on these. Uh, the armor is really nice and they're quite strong and very survivable. If, if I, I usually go attack over defense for some particular reason. Let's save that. And let's go to the early Corvette as well. Because we can actually have more damage. It's, it's not a whole bunch. But maybe when we need it. It is very useful. Oh wow. It, it's it's all wowing for me guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know it can be annoying. Um, what are our anti-aircraft uh, weapons? Hmm. I think it should be these, right? We need to make sure that we have a bunch of them. Because otherwise it's going to be quite annoying. Really looks cool. Let's, uh, let's add these. So there you go. It's another tree damage. Eh, sure, why not? Maybe we'll change those names. And, and this... I think we hijacked this from the Empire. <laughs> Something like that. Uh, there's a turbo laser, the heavy turbo lasers. I see no different options. So you got the, uh, the the torpedoes that actually go with more shield damage. Ship models are awesome. They put so much... Yeah, they truly did. They truly did. Oh, man. There we go. These are our, our hangers. Can we actually add something over there? Uh, he's now set on artillery. Now, I believe before the update, this was completely different. Hey, they were all set up on, on a mode. But you were like, what's it doing over there, you know? Uh, let's add that. Even though, look at the amount of bloody armor there. Shit, that is quite a bit though. That is quite a bit. And the early destroyer. Oh, damn, dude. Look at that color. I'm, I'm very impressed. Very impressive. I don't see any anti-aircraft um, anti stuff. Hmm. We'll have to research those, perhaps. Uh, actually, we got another one here. The heavy conclusion missiles. And these are, these are those. So, a lot of armor. 25 armor damage. So, that twice... It's heavy. Yeah, I like that. Uh, we got a bunch of ships that will do so much damage. Okay, let's get these in there. And we'll get started. Oh, man. This is absolutely gorgeous. Your artillery as well. Uh, are they all set on something else? Like swarming. Yeah, skirmishing. 
let's take a look at how the fleet looks right now oh yes we can upgrade that and we will do that right away fleet manager uh, we are not full yet we already have one of those early star destroyers uh wait we didn't we didn't add those right although best yeah it's fine do we have anything for these slots over there no okay that's fine so we can't add more than these right now we don't want to as well so let's add one of you and the early heavy cruiser as well kind of don't want to add more than those uh, well we might have to just one of these ships eventually i want to get less of the earlier corvettes but we will not be destroying any of these ships i think that's counterproductive i think that is very very counterproductive so there's not much to do i think that it is time yes we are going to be unpausing <laughs> and we got some focus points over here no clue how that all works but let's go edicts what do we have Oh, Starfighters and Bombers, Information, Quarantine, the Mandalorian Crusade campaign, Army Damage plus 25. And uh, short after transforming the Galactic Republic into the Galactic Empire, several minor powers led by the Republic Loyalist have, uh, have gotten out of that. And I really like that. I'm very happy that they did. And even these guys did not remain. So it's not a set thing who's going to be remaining. I believe in Genesis, did this empire actually remains there? So let's get stoned. Let's go too fast. I, I will we'll take things slow, guys. Let's relax. Let's have some fun while we play this absolutely gorgeous mod. So we're building another scientist of another science ship. Holy sh! Okay, so uh, if you see these things, you better want to make sure that your scientists don't go there. <laughs> it would be very upsetting if they do. Uh, we do need to make sure that we grow into this direction. Uh, we not give anyone military access yet. This is our territory. Uh, but I would love to become a uh, a friend of the, uh, the loyalists. And uh, let's see if we can actually find Baby Yoda somewhere. I don't think it's in the game, but it would be funny. My wife loves Baby Yoda. <laughs> she loves Baby Yoda. He's so cute. <laughs> okay, let's go. Well, we need a few more, actually. Uh, 18 alloys. Yeah, not a whole bunch. Mm, do we want to get more right away? Okay. Oh, that's good to know, Astro. Man, you, you play this more than I did. Do we want anything for here? Astro Miner, just... It's three. Well, we do want to upgrade some of our sta uh, space uh, stations. Hmm. We need the Starhold upgrade to actually get the solar panel network. Solar panel network provides two extra credits. Really? Oh, really? An upgrade building for this? Ooh. Yeah, that's nice. Just play the Reckon Senate in order to... side of the map. Wow. Yeah, that, that, it's, it's, it's massive. Those fleets are massive. Those is what you call par uh, pri pirates and privateers for sure. So let's make sure that we want this is all researched. That we go send this fellow over there. We might as well just go expand a tiny bit. Observation post, resource station, mining stations. Okay, no changes over there. Uh, the building is being constructed. Is there anything that we want to be doing on those planets? Well, I think we, for now, want to make sure that we get more peeps. Oh, that is an amazing sound. Traditions are available. Shall we go for the Mandalorian right now? The building cost will help us. Okay, let's, let's take a look. Should we probably, I think, maybe going for research? And we also need to make sure that we can become members of a federation. The Mandalorians as a third one. Wow, okay, really? So uh, you had to jump over a faction to expand really quickly. It worked well, but I had to cheat. Oh, you cheesed it. 
You cheese that? Ah, oh, come on, man. <laughs> okay, we'll go with Nemesis first, and then we go Mandalore. I know it's it's lovely. I know I, I should probably click Mandalore, but I want to research. Research is really low right now. Uh, it will be one of the very first buildings that we will be making. Yeah, that is very true, especially with... Um, with this. this. This ugly thing. And he actually has Darth Vader in one of those fleets. Which is absolutely funny. So every time we see this, we'll block off the uh, the sector. Now, only the Republic... No, not even the Republic... Can get these fleets away. It, it's very near for the Empire. They got three fleets of 11,000. Which is quite a bit. That's, a, that's actually a shit ton. Uh, let's investigate you. 26 months. That's a bit much. Sorry. Uh, we'll wait with that. Let's keep the game running. Uh, we got another scientist. Um, yeah, it's the left corner blocked off when the uh, corporate space ends. So I had to just expand around the others. Yeah, okay. I understand. I understand why you did. Uh, definitely. Definitely. I would have done the same. Uh, because expansion is going to be rather important. We got a... That is interesting. We actually got a light encumbry... Encumbenpolis. I can never read that. I will take that. We'll, we'll probably have to colonize that. So we definitely want to make sure we go in here as soon as possible. So do we actually have any of those? No, we don't. Interesting. So all of these are mainly like resource, uh, res uh, resource buildings. Uh, where the cry uh, cries are? Who? What? Hmm? Something like that. Not sure, man. Uh, my knowledge on the... I like the Star Wars films, personally. But my knowledge about the lore is just sad. So, yeah, it's a worthy endeavor. Let's start the... Um, let's make sure that we can start voting. Uh, he is now done. There is actually primitives over there. Should we land over there? 24 pops. The Marie... Um, it looks like a good planet, though. Primitive civilization... And can we see what kind of um, area they're in? Shall, shall we land troops on this? Holy crap. 223? Ooh, that is quite a bit. <laughs> Didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, let's not build a mega structure. What kind of mega structures can we build? Planetary shipyard and orbital space uh, yeah, of shipyard. Cool. That is cool. Let's go here. Let's uh, build the Starbase Outpost. We'll take that. Uh, it's a very good station uh, system to actually have a station in. And I would like to make sure that all roads towards the Empire just remain closed. For as long as possible. So he's going to be building the trade hub is going there. There is actually trade there. And I'm kind of wondering if we will be able to take that. And... Oh my! So someone is uh, is declaring me their rival already. It's these guys. Interesting. Why? What did I do to you, dude? Well, it's fine. I guess we'll have a fight eventually. What is this? That is a lot of very near stars. Is that where um, when one of the very first films that they have to... Actually, is, is it one of the very first films? I'm not remembering. They have to fly through these wormholes. Oh, I can really confuse myself right now. Uh, the current scientist has uh, negative two. So let's leave it for now. Uh, let's go with the... Surveying speed, because that is quite nice. And we'll declare them rival as well. Let us end the charade. Let us declare rival. Can we do something for you now, right now? Here we go, be friendly. Can we go buddy buddy? Your equivalent in fleet power. So that would be something. We'll, we'll try to be friendly towards them. These guys, they just hate us. Because, well, they are in the Empire. 
Uh, what kind of allies should we go for? Hmm, guess we'll find out. We'll find out um, for the ones on YouTube later. Because uh, if you're watching this on Twitch, then stick around. If you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. I hope you will be enjoying this series. Hopefully it won't end as fast as it did the previously. Eight episodes and then the game crashed. But we'll see. So, have a good one. See you next time. Bye-bye.